control board kept trying to pitch it up. One or the other. Right, what it the exploded mm -hmm. in the front. The wings are fine. That's what took you the longest. The nose uh, needs fixed. <laughs> fire? No. Nope. <laughs> I mean, you only need to fix part of the fuselage. The <laughs> GoPro's on fire. There's a way over there, too. What? He took the long way around. Okay, your GoPro came off. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it aborted. Well, I mean, if you look, the whole... The whole bottom of the plane came off. Oh, uh, yeah. So... No, the mount's still connected. Oh, wow. Goodness <laughs> gracious. <laughs> There's tiny pieces everywhere. Alright, let's unplug everything. My Kevin. What? That was a rudder. <laughs> oh my goodness. This one's still recording. The doors all came off. The wings are still okay, though. That's what took you a lot of time. The nose cone? Yeah. yeah, it's destroyed. There's a big hole in it. So after getting the wreckage of the plane back home, I took a look at the data logs to see what the cause of the crash was, whether it was the center of mass being too far back or the elevator being flipped in the uh, stabilization loops. I didn't really think it was the center of mass too much at this point because I had put the center of mass about 23% back from the leading edge. And, I mean, that should be plenty. That should put it at a little bit nose heavy. When I was initially setting up the flight controller, both the ailerons and the elevator were both flipped. I uh, fixed both of them on the radio input, but I didn't check to see if the stabilization loops had gotten flipped because of that. Aileron turned out to be fine. They were going the right direction, but it looks like when I fixed it on the radio input, I also accidentally flipped the stabilization output. But looking at the pitch data, you can see that pitch is the blue line, that's the attitude of the plane, and the red line is the servo output going to the elevator servo, with more down on the servo being pitching up, and above 1500 being pitching down. You can see that as the plane continues to pitch up, the flight controller keeps trying to pitch the plane more up by deflecting the elevator up, and at the point where the plane ends up stalling, marked with the green circle, and it pitches down drastically, you can see the flight controller suddenly changes the elevator input to the opposite maximum and keeps pitching the plane further into the ground. If this was a center of mass issue and the flight controller was uh, set up to deflect the surfaces properly, you would see the pitch overshooting the elevator controls because of it being unstable and eventually going to the point where it either crashes or the flight controller might keep it stable enough with a rearward center of mass that you can still land it 
and adjust the center mass. But unfortunately I had the elevator configured improperly in the flight controller. Even though I could manually deflect it the right direction from the radio, the stabilization loop had the elevator deflecting the wrong direction. That ended up causing the plane to crash. But there's not too much damage. It looks a lot worse than it is. And I've already rebuilt the front half of the fuselage and have it all fiberglassed. I'm in the process of moving right now and I have some parts I had to order for the plane to fix the camera on the tail and that won't be in for a few more weeks. So I should have it up and ready to maiden a second time pretty soon. But thanks for watching. Bye.